Hi, welcome to My Gadget Life, and what we have here is DVD Studio Pro, and I'm going to teach you by example. I've got an old wedding DVD that I've done earlier, and I just want to show you the buttons that I've used and um, basic stuff like play all and play each individual clip and represent those on the menu as a button. If I take a template and stick it in there, drag and drop that. Button 1 is kind of important because that's the default button. When you press play it will activate button 1. Um, the inspector is kind of important as well. so have that ready but first of all you want to put some videos in there so what I've got to do is find the assets window import uh, let's just play uh, select a few things okay so holding the command button I'm selecting that I'm still holding and selecting that I'm still holding um, selecting that and that, doing that and that, so maybe those three things. And if I let go of the command button and just press the import, it'll just import into the assets window. Uh, okay, now if I go into the graphical uh, tab um, let's get rid of that I can stick all these uh, video clips in here I can't do it all at once for some reason see that so it has to be do done two at a time which is the audio and the video say that and that boom that and that that command select that boom and say if these were done in order which is that uh, ceremony next uh, speeches at the dinner okay Alright, so if we use the analogy of baseball, menu being the home plate, first, second and third base, you want the menu to play first, second and third and then return back to the menu. Uh, we have to actually teach the button to do that. So if I label button 1 as play you can see that and looking at this particular properties of buttons the target is not set so if I go in now there pull down menu and you see all these videos it goes in and if I look at the graphical representation you can see this arrow going there this dots meaning it's only going in one direction uh, you need to select the first film when it jumps to the end uh, you wanna tell it to go into the second film wedding ceremony and same f when I clicked on to the second film going into the final one there you go and once the final one is played through instead of going to the movies because you've done all the menu movies you just want to go into the menu you see all the eight, eight buttons here well you just want to go back to the root which is the menu and there you have it so when you play that it'll go 
sequentially to uh, first, second, third base and back to the menu. Now that is one part of the disc. If I want to play or use the other buttons to play individually and then return to the menu, I'm going to have to basically select all of those and command D it duplicates those you can actually see still got the old commands of, of the uh, of the previous um, clips but don't worry about those arrows because all it is is when you go into selecting the first the end jump always goes back to the menu um, menu there you go all of those are gone back to the menu uh, the final stage for that is to go into the menu and to tell these buttons to, to play the uh, duplicates making sure that you know that these are labeled slightly different that one is labeled speeches and that one is sorry that one is is labeled you light up my life and that one is like my life DVD dash two. So there's a two with the names of these. So if we go back into the menu, button one or button two, sorry, is not set. So we go into there and look for something with the dash two on the end. Um, which is this one button three not set uh, speeches with dash two on it yep four target is um, uh, speeches dash two there you go and hopefully no, sorry. Sorry. <coughs> tend to get these modeled up but if you uh, take more time you'll probably find out you can do this uh, much better. So there. Uh, speeches, ceremony, and that. Okay. So once we go in there, uh, we can test this out by simulating a DVD player. Pressing that. Plays the first film, this is the second film, and that's the third film, and it goes back into the menu. Same here, we'll play, and it goes back to the menu. Press free, it goes back to the menu, press forward and it goes back to menu so that kind of works um, things you could do is just put uh, the name of the wedding or whatever here and a picture of bri bride and groom uh, label these buttons properly and that should be it I mean if you want to do anything like that labeling uh, just remember to select the button and the text here and so on with the other text 
uh, if you want to change the font just make sure that you select it all go into the font library and give it some sort of decent looking font at a decent size and usually it should work um, other things you could have done is add some sort of mem music over this DVD you can do that if I just uh, select the outside this area or around this square anyway uh, just to add by pressing plus here and um, choosing some sort of audio file here and it will play anything on there and just tell it to loop it because it's only playing 24 seconds of that and then it will go back to the beginning of the songs but you can loop the whole song all 24 seconds um, picture you can just add in a photo drag and drop in there otherwise uh, that is how you make a DVD for a wedding um, once you finish burn that but if I show you the final result you can see it's basically putting the clips in the graphical duplicating it and then making sure that the menu and all these buttons are programmed accordingly uh, I just uh, simulate that kind of works anyway uh, that is how you make a wedding DVD you might need to incorporate uh, the same principles to make a similar DVD for your own project it might not be a wedding DVD it could be something else but uh, that is a brief tutorial on how to do that and uh, if you want to ask me anything uh, just uh, go into my inbox and write me a message or go into one of the links below us and uh, reach me there hopefully uh, there won't be any problems in making a DVD but um, you never know and I'll see you next time thanks very much and you're welcome to it.